All right. Thank you to iTree Roots for this definition. Thank you to Ra'el and all of you for sharing with us in the comment section. Authentication, the confirmation rendered by an officer of a court that a certified copy of a judgment is what it purports to be, an accurate duplicate of the original judgment in the law of evidence. The act of establishing a statute record or other documents or a certified copy of such an instrument as genuine and official so that it can be used in a lawsuit to prove an issue in dispute. Self-authentication of particular categories of documents is provided by federal and state rules of evidence. A deed or conveyance that has been acknowledged by its signers before a notary public a certified copy of a public record or an official publication of the government and examples of self-authentication documents. West's Ex Encyclopedia of American Law, Edition 2, Authentication Practice, an attestation made by a proper officer by which he certifies that a record is in due form of law and that the person who certifies it is the officer appointed by law to do so. The Constitution of the U.S. Article 4 Section 1 declares that full faith and credit shall be given in each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings, proceedings of every other state. And Congress may by general laws prescribe the manner in which such acts um, records and proceedings shall be proved and the effect thereof. The object of the authentication is to supply all other proof of the record. The laws of the United States has pro provided a mode of authentication of public records and office papers. These acts, you know, let me see if I can scroll down a bit. These acts are Hang on. Our judicial proceedings authenticated, as aforesaid, shall have such faith and credit given to them in every court within the United States, as they have by law or usage in the courts of the state, from whence the said courts are or shall be taken, the above act having provided only for one species of record. It was necessary to pass the act of March 27, 1804, to, to provide for other cases. By this act, it is enacted, Section 1, that from and after the passage of this act, all records and ex exemplifications of other of office books, <clears throat> which are or may be kept in any public office or any state not appertaining to a court, Shall be, pro shall be proved or admitted in any other court or office in any other state by the attestation of the keeper of the said records or books and the seal of his office thereto annexed, if there be a seal, together with a certificate of the presiding justice of the court on the county or district, as the case may be in which such office or may be kept out of may be kept of the or of the governor, the secretary of the state, the chancellor, or the keeper of the great seal of, of the state, that he, the said attestation is in due form. And by the proper officer and the said certificate, if given by the presiding justice um, of a court, shall be further authenticated by the clerk of Pol Pol or notary of the said court, who shall certify under his hand and seal of his office that the said presiding justice is duly commissioned and qualified. Okay, let's see now. Um, hang on. Let's see if I can find where we left off. Okay, okay, or if the said certificate um, be given to the, okay, to by the governor, the secretary of the state, the chancellor, or keeper of the great seal, 
it shall be under the great seal of the state in which the said certificate is made and the said records and exemplifications authenticated as aforesaid shall have such faith and credit given to them in every court, in every court, in every court and office within the United States as they have by law or usage in the courts or offices of the state from whence the same or shall be taken. 5-2, that all of the courts, that all the provisions of this act and the act to which, um, and the act, uh, so, wait. okay, to which this is a supplement shall apply as well to the public um, acts, records, offices, books, judicial proceedings, judicial proceedings, courts, and offices of the respective territories of the United States and countries, um, subject to the jurisdiction of the United States, as to the public acts, records, office books, judicial proceedings, courts, and offices of the several states, the Act of May 18, 1792, 12 as 12 provides that all the records and proceedings of the court of appeals heretofore appointed previous to the adoption in the present constitution shall be de deposited in the office of the clerk of the supreme court of the united states who is thereby authorized and directed to give copies of all such records and proceedings to any person requiring and paying for the same in like manner as copies of the records and other proceedings of the said court by and by law directed to the, to be given, which copies shall have such faith and credit of, as all as all other proceedings of the said court by authentication is also understood whatever act is done either by the party or some other person with a view of causing the instrument to be known and identified as for example. The acknowledgement, hang on, the acknowledgement of, let's see if it'll give it to me, the acknowledgement, authentication of the law, evidence, the act of, or mode of giving authority or legal authenticity to, uh, to a statute record or other written in instrument or a certified copy thereof, so as to render it legally admissible in evidence. Wolfsland, Ridenor, CCA, Kennel, Zone 299F134, Verifications of Judgments, Colette versus Hansen, um, 174A, 466-467, 133ME, 146 Black's Law Book, 4th edition, page 150. Thank you, 168. Thank you, I Tree Roots, for that explanation. Now, um, some of you are asking questions about what we meant about, you know, the movie Da Vinci Code. You guys go back and watch that where the blood and the last couple of seeds go down the sink. Right. And then we discovered that we married. They discovered that Mary Magdalene or Mary or Jesus, whatever, is buried under the Louvre in Paris. And then they were able to connect the dots that we're all descendants of Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, probably buried in Utah now. And um, we had to go back and do the geography on that, that we're the original, the fifth descendants as Muslims, also as Jews, as American Indians, as Moorish American nationals. Dane Calloway just made a really great video about that history, the, the word, the term more. And also um, someone was saying that they went to court recently to help a friend. You guys be careful because they're, remember their auction houses, their auction houses, right? So they're trading the people all day, every day with GSA bonds. Those of you with warrants, ticket citations, for mortgages, foreclosures, utilities, you can now do the GSA bonds, SF 30, 14, 14, 14, 16, 14, 18, the performance bond, bid bond, payment bonds, letter of rogatory, notice of set off, and the foreign affidavit, send that off to the agents doing business as clerk, judges, or banks, whoever you're dealing with commerce with because they created GSA bonds on you. And then you use your thumbprint, two cent stamps on each page, put it on bond paper. You can email us here for those templates at Tom, Harry, Edward, Mary, Umbrella, Lamp, Lamp, Ice, Nancy, George, Sam at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Remember, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. Do you, do you put your God first and all good things will come after because you're the God. Psalms 82.6.